Hey guys, Benedict from BrainBloomer.com. I wanted to talk to you guys about KD trees. KD trees are a great data structure. Basically, it a, um, if you have anything that has multi dimensions. So if you think about something that like uh, let's see, you have x, y, z. This is only three dimensions, but you know, you have your x axis, your y axis, and you know, kind of like little z axis over here. And this is your z axis. Now this is three dimensions. But we want to do something that has k dimensions, so it's like four, four dimensions, five dimensions, six dimensions, and so on and so forth. You would use something called a KD tree. Now this is great for things like graph, graphics processing. You know, Doom was made, you know, the video game Doom was made using KD trees. And um, KD trees are, are wonderful data structures, and you can s basically store huge, huge amounts of data using a k-dimensional tree. So KD trees, they're great, wonderful for all kinds of stuff. They're great for things like uh, a lot of data, data scientists use KD trees because you can do what's known as a nearest neighbor search. So given any kind of reference point, you start with like, okay, given this point here, you have all these other points out here, and which point is it nearest to? Or find me the 10 nearest points to this point, like you're on a map somewhere, and you're on, uh, I want to find all the nearest restaurants. Like I'm on Google Maps or something. Hey, I'm on a map and uh, I want to find all the restaurants nearest to me. I want to find all the coffee shops nearest to me. Well, guess what? KD trees are the data structure for you. You want to use a KD tree. These are wonderful. Okay, so what you're going to do with a KD tree, what you have to know about KD trees, how, what are they? Underneath the hood, what is a KD tree? Well, KD tree is nothing but a binary tree. What's a binary tree again? Remember, it's binary. Binary means by means two, right? So each node has two subchildren, has two subchildren, and each of those two subchildren have two subchildren as well, and it just keeps on going and going and going and just forms a humongous tree. So what is a KD tree? And how is a KD tree a binary tree? So underneath everything, a, a KD tree is just a binary tree, but it alternates, it kind of cycles. It starts out with, in this dimension, right, this is the the x-axis perhaps and then it goes to the next and it cycles to the y-axis and then it goes to the z-axis and basically just cycles through xyz 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 all the way down over and over each layer right because it this is layer one layer two layer three and as it goes down as it goes down it just cycles through xyz 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 over here and um, basically what does that mean so uh, it, it kind of looks like this, right? You have you start with a, a point, a point here, and so it starts out x. We'll go this way, and then uh, you have a you know, and then it'll, it'll store this point. So it's stored point A. Now it needs to store point B, but now it's 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 going diagonal. It's going like this, you know, y, and we're gonna omit z because it's really hard to draw z. But let's just let's just pretend, you know, we're just modeling x and y here. So now it's it's done um, point B. Now it needs to store point C, All right? Point C. Oh, okay. Well, point C. We're back to horizontal again, right? Okay. What uh, we have to store point D. At uh, point Z, we're back. To, we're back to the x-axis again. So it has to be, um, or back to the y-axis again. So it's like that, and like that, and like that. And it is kind of like logarithmic, like space partitioning algorithm that kind of gets smaller and smaller and smaller as you progress. So you can store a huge, huge, huge amount of stuff with a very, very efficient data structure that you can logarithmically get the results of. Now this is a very simple explanation. We'll dive deeper into KD trees in the next videos. So stay tuned. Go to www.brainbloomer.com.